Flora. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be reacting to Baby Monster Strip. Um, I know that Click Clack was a pre-release, and so this is their uh, title track, and I just want to get right into it. I'm curious of how this is going to be different than Click Clack, so let's get started. I already, I already see the first color, which is, I really like that. Ooh. I already love like the it's like much more poppy up again kind of bringing like some EDM elements not completely but like the bass definitely has like some hints of EDM Ooh, this is pretty pre pre chorus. Ooh, I like the record. Also, outfits are on fleek. I was not expecting the chorus to hit like that either. It's so interesting. I was like, I was like, what the heck? Their outfits are slaying for this come this comeback. I liked it for click clack too. This pre-chorus is so pretty. Ooh, that was pretty. Switch. Ooh. I like how they changed. Like, this is obviously the chorus, but like, it's changed. Like, some of the lyrics have changed, which is nice. It keeps it interesting because you could get bored with the chorus sometimes, but since they changed it up, it's fun. This bridge is pretty, too. The, the pre chorus and the bridge. Ooh. Ooh, sounds a little. Ooh, good. She finally got over that. Okay, super fun again. Um, why is this only three minutes? Come on, give me longer songs, please. I could go for like another whole entire chorus, I'm telling you. Um, the pre-chorus and bridge were super pretty. That pre-chorus, I was like, chef's kiss, you are so great. And then it went into the chorus, which is really repetitive, so you're gonna get it, it's gonna get catchy. It's gonna be catchy and it's gonna get in your head, which it did, um, of course. And then, but they did something different in the second, the second, um, part of the part of the chorus excuse me the second chorus at the beginning they did uh I, I believe they they said they were singing differently because it caught my attention I was like oh this isn't this wasn't the same as before maybe it's not and I'll have to go back and re re-listen to it for sure but I was like all right all right, baby monster, I see what you're doing. You got like the click clack, the click clack where it's very like, um, just spoken and a very vogue. I felt it was very like high fashion, um, and everything. And then drip, excuse me. Like again, the fashion was great. Loved it. Um, I will say that on the high note, um, I mentioned, I was like, oh yeah, she got it. Um, it just felt like she was, uh, closed a little bit. And so she was having a hard time because she's going obviously over her break. And so she's forcing it up 
rather than it just naturally happening. And that's something that takes a long time to learn. And sometimes that just happens. So when she got it, it finally like felt a lot freer, um, for her voice. And that's something that's super hard to do. Like I'm being really nitpicky here. Um, so, uh, I loved, I love this. The bridge was super fun too. This was just fun. I really enjoyed this. And you know me, I'm not like a huge like rap or hip hop or anything. And I definitely think like Baby Monster le lead towards that, lean towards that. But this didn't feel like that. It felt very poppy. Um, it felt very like I mentioned it had like remnants of EDM, but not really kind of like um, with click clack at the, at the end. It had that like EDM kind of tech EDM feel towards the end and this kind of carried that on which I really liked that that was the carry on from that right and yeah great baby monster drip did you love it did you hate it did you like click clack more did you like drip more um are they on the same part for you what is your favorite uh who is your favorite member who do you bias and tell me all your thoughts about this song down below and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye, bye.